Welcome to the Tech Mill Update. I'm Kiana Danielle, the founder of the Investiva Movement. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the Tech Mill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your friends. On Monday, we found out that the total value of building permits issued by the Canadian municipalities increased 7.4% to $8.7 billion in December. We found out that oil prices dipped on weaker Chinese demand and that thanks to the coronavirus, the business outlook of workers in Japan with jobs sensitive to economic trends got worse in January. On Tuesday, we'll get the UK GDP data and RBNZ's official cash rate, which could impact the Kiwi crosses. So today, I'm looking at the Kiwi Yen pair, which completed its correction towards the daily Ichimoku cloud that we talked about last week and is now back to the 50% of Nashi retracement level of 70.23, which is acting as a key pivot level. This means we have a bearish technical signal and we'll be waiting for Tuesday's rate decision in New Zealand to solidify our bearish outlook. Now risk-taking traders could consider shorting the pair towards the next support level of 69.51, speculating that Tuesday's risk events will create enough volatility to take the pair there. This is by all means not financial advice and it's purely my observation of the markets. Now, do you think the bears have got enough power to push the Kiwi Empire lower? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, like it and subscribe to the Tickmill social media. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.